Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I have something really cool here. Bodega sent me another mini fridge to review. Uh, I don't get paid on any of these. They just send them to me to review, make a video and put it up. But this is a 9.8 liter. This is the X9 Bodega. So I've never seen one this small or reviewed one this small, but sometimes you don't need a big one. You want one just to throw in the backseat of your car or in your trunk or you know, on your motorcycle. I mean, you could actually carry this thing probably because it's going to be small. This box is tiny. Can't imagine how small it's going to be after I open it, but uh, we're going to check this thing out. This would be a good one for day trips and stuff just to take some drinks or snacks. So let's open this thing up and check it out. The bodega makes all different sizes of these things, and I mean, they make really good quality. I've got some that I've had for years, and I use them all the time that still just work great cool part about these as i've mentioned before is with one of these mini fridges this is a real refrigerator it ran off 110 volts it ran off 12 volts um 24 volt and the cool part is you don't have to buy no ice so all the room in here is for your food or drinks you don't have to waste space with ice you don't have to worry about ice melting and ruining your food this is quite a deal so it's got a it's strapped in foam and here usually they don't have these straps <laughs> this thing is definitely tiny but like i said there's a lot of times when you don't need a a big one to carry around just one of these little bitty ones would be great for a day you saying and something small if you ain't got much room to carry one this is this would be great very cool Need to carry cans of soda it looks like or whatever and carry some food in here so let me bring the camera up here we can get up closer and see what this looks like so you can definitely see here we got vents on the front vents on the side and that's because there's actually a compressor in here just like a real refrigerator in your house it has to bring in air to keep the compressor cool over here we have the dc 12 volt 24 volt in which is where we plug in our adapter for the 110 our car accessory plug and then we have a vent on the back and when you put these in your vehicles too or whatever you want to make sure these vents stay clear don't put them up against something like the back of the seat i put things here to keep it away from the back of the seat i want it just to get lots of air putting this thing up so you can see when it's opened up this is actually instead of just pushing down this actually locks down latches and hooks so it ain't gonna come open on you there's also a rubber gasket here that seals on the lip and the better this seals the colder it's going to keep it and the less it's going to run so inside here we have the accessories to hook it up so we have a lighter plug or accessory outlet plug in your car and this is where this plugs in right here it only goes one way so you can't get it wrong Plug it right in there for power. Plug that in your car outlet or a portable power station, and you're good to go. But we are going to take this thing and plug it into the 110 wall outlet. This is our AC to DC adapter. So we plug this in right here. And then we plug this into... 110 wall outlet okay as you can see i got it plugged into the 110 adapter to the 110 on the rv wall plug so we're going to kick this thing on let me turn it around here so you can see the display because it's, it's actually this way hit the power button ambient temperature now is 54 degrees that's what it's showing and uh, you can see that flickering on the camera but this is actually not flickering in real time here it's just showing it on the camera something to do with the frame rate okay so we have a uh, temperature down button, temperature up button. It's already set all the way down, minus four. This one's super simple. So all you got is a power and a temperature up and down. Let's push this and see how far we go up. So it looks like it goes up to 68 degrees and the compressor just shut off because the ambient temperature is 51 and it's set to 68. So we'll go back down. We don't need it that high. I'll take it back down to 32. 
now the compressor should kick back on. It's actually really quiet. There we go, kicked on. Super quiet when that compressor kicks in. I definitely like that. Definitely like these tie downs too. That's pretty awesome to be able to strap this thing uh, in your vehicle. Turn it back this way. So you can see this one's pretty simple. There's no light in here, super small. Let's see what we can fit in this thing. Okay, so here's a 16.9 ounce bottle of water. Set in here, and looks like it's gonna be a little bit too tall. So bottled water won't stand up like that, but they'll lay down. The best way, it's a little longer this way. We have a little more room here. So let's put it this way. And now we can just see how many bottles we can put in here. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Let's see if it fit four this way. If it fit four this way, tight squeeze. Two, three, four. So that's eight total. Got to squeeze down in there, get it lined up right. They'll fit tight in there. Will it fit one more row? Yes, I think it will, but now maybe not right up here. Okay, so that's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I think that's going to be a little bit too much. We shall see if it shuts. Yeah, I see it won't shut. So maybe if we go put these in the three low spots here. And that's actually a little bit too much. I would not recommend it because it holds up on the lid. You can see I'm pushing down and it pushes back up. Pushing up on the lid, which make this seal where it don't want to seal on this lip. So I would say eight would be the max I would put in there. And then you still have a little bit of room here on top where you could put like some lunch meat, uh, some kind of food you want to keep cold on top of the eight bottles of water. See, now the lid stays down. You don't want the rear lid pulling up because you want it down to where it seals good. Okay, so as far as the manual, it does here say the voltage here. A lot of them have a cut in and cut out voltage that can be adjusted. And what that is, is to keep your vehicle's battery from running so low that you can't start your vehicle. If you have it plugged into your car, you don't want it, you running it uh, overnight or something, and this thing run your car battery dead. So it actually cuts out at a low voltage and saves your car battery. But this one is preset. You can't change it. On the 12 volt system that we use on a car, the cutout is 10.1 and the cut in is 11.4. So basically this thing is going to run it down your car battery until it gets to 10.1 volt and it's going to shut off. 24 volt it drops down to 22.3 volts and then cuts off. Okay, as far as the other specifications, we have an X9 here and an X15. The X15 is a little larger. This uh, X9 that we have here is a 9.8 liter, 0.35 cubic feet, or you can call it 10.4 quart. The X15, which is not the one I have here, it actually is 17.2 quarts. So the noise level, 45 decibels. And of course it shows the rated voltage. It runs off 12 to 24 volt or AC 100 to 240 volt. Temperature range is minus four to plus 68, which we just showed. Here is the dimensions of this unit. You can see right here. And then down here we have the weight, which is 16.5 pounds. So it's pretty lightweight. Okay guys, this thing has got down to temperature and shut off. Super cool. Didn't even take very long. I don't know how many minutes this has been, but not very many at all. So super cool. This thing would be great. It's super small. So it would be great for like a day trip. Throw this in your car, throw this in your side by side. You can throw it in on a back rack of a four wheeler, ATV, whatever. Plug it into your 12 volts right here using this 12 volt cord that comes with it. If you want to plug it into your house or 110, you got that adapter too. So you can see how much it holds uh, by my demonstration here. So it wouldn't be something that you would take a family on a big trip with. They make bigger ones for that. But this one here would be great for a single person or for a family like us, me and my wife, and we take a day trip in the Jeep. We just want to throw some drinks in here to keep cold so we can throw our water bottles in there. They're going to say ice cold all day long, just plugging it into 12 volts. Super cool, super compact. This unit is really nice. I like the color too, the green and the gray. So thank you all for watching. Check the link out below in the description where you can purchase one of these. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. We'll catch you all on the next adventure. Right on.